Hey everybody. Today we're going to do some mathematical modeling on like Google Sheets. So we just got done doing one that had like a motion graph. We did it in our notebook and we did it, you know, with calculators and things like that. Now we're going to do it with the computer and hopefully you know, once we start doing it, you can decide which one you like better. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're looking at um, how much uh, rainfall we have over an area. So let's go ahead and um, highlight. There we go. Highlight these numbers and then where we have uh, annual rainfall versus um, runoff. And we're going to hit this chart right here. There we go. Uh, we do not want to use a column graph. We want to use a scatter. So I hit um, this chart type. We want to go down to scatter. Um, and then let's customize it and um, click on series. We want to add a trend line. So there's our kind of our average right there. Let's uh, label, use an equation, and then let's show the equation. So we have the equation right there. Uh, there's our rise over run or our slope. You might hear that in math class. You, know, you can give it a title, annual rainfall versus annual runoff. Okay, let's click on chart and title axis. Um, if we hit the type down, let's go horizontal axis title. And now, I don't know, I, I hate the fact that that's so hidden, but Go horizontal title axis. Um, we want that to be that is our annual rainfall. And then if we hit this down and we change that to the vertical line, we have annual um, runoff. Let's estimate the annual runoff amount if the annual rainfall amount is 54 inches. So if we go here and 54 inches is like slightly off here, what would be our um, estimated runoff? So I'm going to put the number 54 there and we can calculate it. So we can get out a calculator and we can use this y equals mx plus b um, and solve it. Or we can do this right here on the computer. So I'm going to hit the, e. I'm going to go to uh, d10 so that we can put it right next to our 54, which we're going to use there. We're going to hit the equals. I'm going to go open parentheses. And I'm going to just copy this formula right here. So 0 0.609 times. And I'm going to click on this 54. Uh, then I'm going to subtract. Um, it says 9.31. I'm going to close the parentheses, hit enter, and our answer is 23.576 inches. Now, the nice thing about this is that would be, you know, this average if the line kept going to 54. Uh, but we can just kind of check it out. And let's type the number 35 in there. And if we look at 35, 12.005, you know what? That looks right on according to our calculation. So I'm going to go back and hit 35. So now we've got our calculation here. We can easily just type in any number we want. Okay, now let's answer if the runoff amount from the area measured is 11.5. So we're going to go 11.5 there, but this 11.5 is the Y, um, not the X. So what we're going to want to do is, you know, maybe in your notebook, um, we want to add the 9.31 to the other side and then divide by 0 0.609. So, all right, so what that looks like on the computer is we hit equals and we'll start a parentheses. Uh, we're gonna click on the 11.5 and mine says C11. Um, then we're going to add the 9.31. We're gonna close the parentheses and divide this by 0 0.609. All right, so according to our calculations, um, 
the if we have measured 11 and a half inches of runoff that means we're getting about 34 inches of rainfall um, so we can kind of look at this and say all right 11.5 inches of rainfall if we move this over like just kind of eyeball it and does that look like 30, 34 it sure does um, and actually we can just kind of change this number to you know uh, five and that says 23 so that's like right there, right? So looks good. Let's change that back to 11.5. All right. We're done with the first chart. Now let's go to the second chart. All right, down here you'll hit chart number two. Let's start a chart. Uh, earlier I showed you how to hit this. You can also do insert chart. Again, we're going to change the chart type to a scatter chart. I'm going to move this over a little bit so we got some space. All right, let's um, customize it. Um, let's see here. Let's customize it. Go to series. We want a trend line. We want to show the formula or show the equation and check that box also there's our y equals mx plus b okay um, and also we want to expand this so let's go down to horizontal axis we want to expand this the minimum we want is zero and the maximum we want is 30. now let's go to vertical axis and the minimum we want is zero. The maximum we want is 180. And there's a good looking chart. Okay, we've got, um, let's go to chart and axis title. And um, let's change the horizontal to be um, bike weight. And then let's change the vertical axis to be minimum jump height. And that's in inches. Okay, cool. A little bit easier to read now. now I'm going to move this over a little bit. Okay, let's answer some of these questions. If the engineer designed a bike that weighed 18 pounds, predict the minimum jump. Give your answer, answer in inches. Okay. So let's put 18 there. I'm going to click on 18 and C3. I'm going to put that there. Uh, and then what we want to do is use this formula. So equals, I'm going to go a negative 3.79 times the 18. Okay. Uh, and then we want to add 155 close the parentheses hit enter I'll be honest I don't know that you even need those parentheses there so you can jump uh, 86 inches how far is 86 inches it's a long ways right but here let's make this feet and in inches I know it says like only inches here we go let's go equals let's change this divided by 12 all right now we can see that what if I told you you could jump now seven feet, 7.23 feet? Like, now you got a better idea. Okay, so 86 inches. All right, now if we wanted to like change the weight, okay, let's say I got a lighter bike um, that weighs 10 pounds, I could jump a little farther. All right, I'm gonna change this back to 18. Let's do this one right here. If the engineer has a bike that weighed one pound, I wanna put a one there. I'm going to drag this down. See that? I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to drag it down. Okay. I'm going to delete that because I don't know what it's get grabbing. Okay. Let's double. If I click on this, it tells me up here the formula. Okay. It's using C15. Well, C15 is right there. And I can also drag this down. I'll delete that. And it says if a bike weighs one pound, that's how high, that's how far I can, uh, or that's how high I can jump. I can jump 12 feet. That's pretty amazing. 
Also, a bike that weighs one pound? I don't know if that exists. That's something we should Google. We should look it up. See if Trek is making a one pound bike. All right. Oh, why don't you answer that question right there after you look it up? Okay, so you can answer this question right here, right, right below it. If the minimum jump height of 89.7 inches is recorded, predict the weight of the bike. All right, here we go. Let's click on this and put 89.7. Okay, we can't quite use the, uh, the same formula because uh, this is our Y, not our X. We saw for these would be our X in our slope intercept form. So let's click on this and say um, equals. Click on this, subtract 155. Oops, I got too many subtraction signs there. Uh, let's put this in parentheses just in case we need parentheses there. And then divide this all by a negative 3.79. Okay, I got that just from turning this slope intercept form around. All right. So the bike would weigh about, uh, what, 17 pounds? Okay. Again, we can kind of check it out. If I could jump uh, 60 inches, then you can see that changes along with it. So let's change this back to 89.7. Using these formulas on these spreadsheets makes your life so much easier because it changed one number, it changes the other. Uh, and this is very useful in obviously engineering class. It's going to be really useful in uh, math classes, and it'll be also really useful for you in the future. So um, I hope this was helpful. Good luck. Uh, please make sure you answer all these questions and get it turned in on your Google Classroom. Good stuff.